Hey guys, it's Eli here from ViralTechGaming.com. Today I'm going to be overviewing iOS 5 Beta 1 since uh, I do have a developer account on Apple. So nothing new uh, in terms of like the home screen, but you do have your notification center right here. And but I'm sure that's going to be weather. Available. You have your stock market. So if I go to um, settings. Haven't figured out how you to can change see that your there are widgets that you want settings here, here like uh, iCloud, Twitter, FaceTime, and the store. This has changed to automatic downloads. So, like, if you've purchased something before and it's not on your device, uh, it will download automatically. And this I have off because I don't want I don't want it to use data while um, I'm not around. So in general, you have some uh, different things like software update. Um, you can update your software like uh, to new builds uh, wirelessly without having to be at uh, your computer. Uh, you can sync it manually as well. So that's that. Also, they improved the weather app a lot. Like I really like it. Now, if you click on your day, you have an hourly forecast, and also you can uh, scroll from right to left and left to right uh, to see your other cities that you have uh, on there. So that's that. And then in photos, as you can see, I'm on Twitter right now here, and I just took a ton of pictures of me starting up the phone. Let's go back here. Um, like this is what it looks like when you first start it and then you have like a whole startup menu here activating also you have edit you can edit your pictures on the go now in your photos app and you also have the ability to open up your picture and tweet it out right here it's pretty cool so that's pretty much it with that so, I'm going to talk about iCloud now. iCloud allows you to sync your uh, mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, notes, and photo stream, and find my iPhone. Um, so you have like, you get, you get 5 gigs for free. And then, if you go to reference, you have your reminders. So it's like your to-do list. And you can see like your little calendar here and make little notes of what you have to do today. <laughs> Study. Okay, now then you have Newsstand, which you can download magazines and newspapers from the App Store. And that's that. They also improved uh, the Safari a lot. You also have the ability to tweet from Safari and they just, uh, all together, they improved it. It's much faster and stable. Doesn't crash for me yet. So, yeah, basically, when you have new mail, it's going to pop out right here. And then also, if we look at the lock screen, as you can see, it's normal. But when I double click on the home button, I have, like, your iPod controls right here. And you also have a camera shortcut. So you don't have to go through all that just to get to your camera and take your pictures quickly. Um, so yeah, that's about it with uh, iOS 5. Expecting some more features in soon, like some more iCloud-like uh, online access. I have not been able to find that yet uh, for public, but it is uh, available for developers. So yeah, guys, this has been Eli from ViralTechGaming.com reviewing the iPhone iOS 5 beta 1. Thanks for watching.